Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for another art project today. This is what we will be creating together. I'm starting by laying down a layer of Mod Podge all over my two page spread along with book text and some various black and white images that I pulled out of a Nat Geo magazine from like the 70s or something, courtesy of my stepfather. <laughs> and now I'm going in with my purple pearl pink, purple pearl pink, purple pearl paint. And I smush that around with a palette knife. And now I am applying a generous amount of gesso, white gesso, all over the page with my palette knife. I choose the method of the palette knife rather than paint brushes because I want it to be choppy. I want it to be kind of a hot mess here. And I'm squishing these two pages together to create more texture. And with the paper towel, I'm actually kind of double dipping here. I am removing excess gesso, but at the same time, did you see that pattern that was sort of created? And now I'm going in with a lot more of that purple pearl paint. And I'm smushing again. And look at that texture that we're creating by pushing down. These are just some random scraps that you can see are like used to separate pages or whatever. And now we're going in with our Dilutions Spray Ink. And I am beginning to paint shapes all over my two page spread. My apologies for the quality here. This color is a dark purplish blue. And here I'm sort of haphazardly outlining these shapes that I've painted with black Posca paint pens. And then I'm just creating some little dots around the edges. Now with a white Posca paint pen, I am just doing some little hash marks here. See how much the page is already, I'm sorry, see how much the spread is already starting to transform? It doesn't take much. And this is actually a second shade of Dilutions Shimmer Spray. First shade was blue. This is a purple. As always, the products that I've used will be linked down in the description box below. 
I'm just giving it a quick fan here just to dry things up a bit. I will say off camera, I did need to actually like let this sit for a while. Creating some more shapes here. I'm actually using my non-dominant hand to kind of make them look messy. And I'm going in with some more of my little hash marks, just again, creating some more noise in my background. And we're going in with one of our Distress Ink Pads. I've chosen to go in a strict up and down motion because that is the look I was going for. I want it to have a sort of messy, haphazard, striped effect. And then here's a close up of everything that we've got going on so far. Now we are on to our focal point. I've got my cutting mat laid down on my work surface and I am using an X-Acto knife to cut around rather than scissors. And now we're gonna alter her a bit. Natalie Portman, beautiful, yes, but we do need to alter our image. This is not my work. I am simply collaging. This is a floral piece from the Tim Holtz line. I'm simply just trimming off that white trim. <laughs> trimming off the white trim, yeah. Now I have chosen to leave in the process of assembling my focal points. If you are not interested in seeing this process in the same video as the entire book page, please let me know and I can definitely create a video strictly dedicated to the creation of a focal point.
So since I have so much pigment and so much going on on those pages, I pretty much can't use Mod Podge over the top anymore, which is why I've got my cutting mat laid down and I'm applying Mod Podge to the back of my focal point. And I'm just pressing her down. This is not a necessary step with the Mod Podge over my focal point. I simply wanted to tie all of these layers together. Obviously it's not going to be seamless, but I did want to make an effort. And here we have beautiful Margot Robbie from another magazine page. And I am gently moving up and down with my sandpaper, sticking with the theme of the striped look or appearance, if you will. And here I am altering the Margot Robbie image. And then as always, I like to tie things together with a Stabilo pencil. I do enjoy a more dark, grungy, dingy appearance, which is why I do tend to move, you know, t towards black in general, darks and shadows and all that. Which is also shown here as I'm using my stays on ink to darken up all of the edges of my pages, as well as pulling in from the edge and giving this sort of, what's well, not antiqued, but this sort of even more grunged up in darkness. Brightness and pastel is beautiful, and I'm not knocking it in any way, but I do like it to be grungy a little bit. Here's a close-up of our two pages. We are almost done here. And the last step, I decided that this spread needed more, more noise, more something. So I'm actually going in with a black and then a white Posca paint pen, and I'm not writing anything at all here. I am moving very quickly, almost in a sort of like, you know, rushed signature sort of way. And here's a close up of what I'm talking about here. You can see I've, I've written nothing. There, this means this is just scribbles. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have time, if this is your jam, and if you want to keep seeing more of my videos, please consider ringing that bell, subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time.